How's it going everybody? This is Craig Bush Rocks. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about my PlayStation PlayStation 3 games that are $50 or more. And I got a nice stack of games right here. Um, I think there's 11 games here. Going for my complete North American physical collection there. Um, of PlayStation 3 games. I'm slowly getting all my more expensive games out of the way. There's a lot more there. <laughs> but slowly. But We'll start off with my first game. I didn't get my price guide chart here, so and I'm my phone's recording, but they're worth fifty dollars or more. <laughs> but the first one is Yakuza Dead Souls. Pretty sweet. Nice and complete. I haven't played this one yet, so I still gotta try it out. Seems looks pretty cool. I'll check that one out. Next one I got is a sealed copy of Splatterhouse. Pretty cool. I can't open this up because it's still sealed. But it's a sealed copy of Splatterhouse, and I'm thinking this one goes for like $70, $80. I don't remember, but pretty cool. Next one I got is a Lollipop Chainsaw. When I bought this one, it was just a regular price game, I believe. I don't think I even paid that much for it. And I don't remember where I picked it up at, but I know as it wasn't very much. And boy, this game shot shot up in price. It's getting getting up there, and I think they're doing a remake of this game. I'm not sure. You know, you can, you can comment down below, let me know if they are or not. But I believe they are. But sweet. Then we got Spider Man Edge of Time. I know they got more valuable Spider Man games for the PS3, but this is the one I have so far. And I got to get an instruction book. I just noticed that, which is no big deal. I just go on eBay, find instruction booklet for Web of Time, and go pick it up. But not a big deal, but Edge of Time. Next one we got is one of my games I bought back in the day. Like I said, I buy these things brand new when they come out. Um, this one I didn't, looks like, because there's a sticker on it, so I must have bought it used. And that's Silent Hill Downpour. So it's got sticker residue right there. But, yeah, this, for some reason, this game shot up in price. It's up there in the, up above $50. But, okay, not the greatest game in the world, but it's still a good game. I, I beat it. Next game we got is Azura's Wrath. Yeah, I bought this game pretty cheap. I knew this one was going to shot up, you know, shoot up in price when I heard about it. And so, yeah, I grabbed it. This is before I was going to start collecting PS3 games. I was like, I want to try it out before it goes too expensive. I wanted to play the game. and Boy, this game is tough as nails. <laughs> but yeah, I picked that one up. This one I picked up at a, a pawn shop. I paid like maybe five bucks for it. That's Blades of Time. It was when I was going out to Battle Creek to Distraders for the first time, I believe. And we, so we, I thought we can go stop at a you know at a pawn shop and they had this game in stock and i didn't pay very much for it i didn't know how much it was worth but when i got home i've come to find out it was it was pretty good it was up there and looks like um this guy's got a gamestop uh price on there i wonder who bought this one originally i'm trying to think of the name on there it was either way it wasn't um Indiana Hills Plaza, Mount Pleasant, Michigan. So, so someone bought this one back then and brought the pawn shop, and then I ended up grabbing it. But Blades of Time. This game I bought, I don't know how long ago, about four or five years ago. Uh, folklore. This game was starting to jump up in price a little bit, and so I decided to pick it up, and I played through it. It's not a bad game. It's, it's pretty sweet. There's lots of creatures in there and stuff like that. But if you haven't had a chance to play Folklore, try it out. It's still, I believe this is still under $100, maybe $70, $60, $70. If you can find this game, pick it up. It's a sweet game. One of my recent additions is um this one right here, JoJo Bizarre Adventure, the All-Star Battle. Pick that one up. I made a did a trade deal on getting these. Pretty sweet. I still gotta um take my my goo gun and clean up some more of this case here because it's 
still kind of sticky, but I can clean that off a lot better. And one of my more expensive games right here. I'm on the last two, and these are <clears throat> these are probably my most expensive ones, and that's Armored Core for uh, for Answer. I should start buying all the Armored Core games. I see them on Macari all the time. I, just, I should just bite the bullet, just pick them up. But there's Armor Core. And one of my most expensive uh, PS1 games in this collection is um, Africa. Yeah, I bit the bullet on this one. Paid full price for it. Yeah, but that's fine. I think I told a story about this one where I found it at GameStop for $59. I should have picked it up then, and I didn't. I kicked myself in the butt for it, but that's fine. Those are my most expensive PS3 games. Um, $50 or more. It's in my collection. But tell me what you think of the video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Give me a thumbs down if you don't like it. Uh, comment, like I said, down below. If you, if you played any of these games, let me know. Comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and hit that bell icon. You know, to be notified of my videos. I do videos just about every day. And I got to eat my food over there. Pops made my din din. Got Motor City Nightmares this Saturday. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. But I don't know. I'll check you on the next video. Bye.